So I'm here with uh, Bruce Bowes, who uh, leads up the uh, marketing for our Velocity series. And Bruce, you're going to be uh, presenting tomorrow uh, in the afternoon, right, on the Velocity Absolutely, launch. Absolutely, What are you going to be talking about? We got, the, we got the new 2008 launch for the Velocity series. Okay. We're incredibly excited about the whole new uh, set of enhancements to the new portfolio. Yep. Uh, you know, of course, everybody's heard about Solid Edge with synchronous technology by now, and yeah. certainly that's the flagship and it's going to come. But at the same time, I don't want to look past the, the great enhancements that we have for FEMAP. Okay. Uh, you know, we got a, we got a brand new uh, automatic meshing capability and some new interactive meshing tools that are just outstanding and really going to have a huge impact on, on the mid-market from that standpoint. Cool. Team Center Express adds, uh, not only does it get on top of the new uh, Team Center 2007 architecture, mm -hmm. but uh, at the same time it adds two new capabilities people have been asking for, an inexpensive shop floor viewing capability and at the same time adds the, in the uh, new project management. Okay, uh, capability. Well, That's consistently been in the top five of requests for, uh, from our customer base for quite a while now. And then of course Cam Express, you know, the latest edition of the Velocity series, but some new three-axis capabilities in the for, for uh, uh, high-speed machining okay. uh, that really uh, backs up a lot of the work we've done there. But more important than that, we've incorporated some of the new feature-based capabilities that have come from Technomatics mm -hmm. now into Cam Express. It's going to shore up the two, two and a half axis component, especially when we talk about making it associative with Solid Edge and doing feature-based machining based on the features, and which brings us back to synchronous technology. So it sounds like the portfolio is really coming together now, really kind of becoming Absolutely. a full, full, full set. So Absolutely. You know that portfolio, while you bring yeah. that up, you know, we reflect on the two and a half years that we've had Velocity Series out there now. And uh, while we've increased access to the customers, you know, over 80% of Velocity channel partners today carry multiple products, yep. and 90% of Velocity revenue goes through the channel today. Sure, sure. So really proud of that. Plus, we've added all of the uh, integration capabilities around the portfolio. Mm -hmm. We've got integral PDM. We've got uh, embedded FEA. Yep. We've got a fully associative CAM application. All of this being done while maintaining the fundamental velocity tenants of low total cost of ownership, standardized best practices being yep. implemented with pre-configured uh, workflows and processes. You know, all the same things that we founded the fundamental uh, basis of Velocity Series on. Modular yet integrated, yep. all those kinds of things. Great, really cool. Great trip for two and a half years. So, so as you mentioned, you know, we have heard a lot about synchronous technology and you know, I, I, I haven't seen all the demonstrations, so I'm kind of interested to see them tomorrow. But, you know, what is it that, that when you look at synchronous technology and, and specifically Solid Edge with synchronous technology that kind of you know it, it gets you excited? What do you think is really going to be interesting when we see that applied in a product? You know, we, we kind of teased about it a little sure. bit and talked about some of the sure. the math behind it, but, but what's it what's it really mean now that's becoming productized? Yeah, let me tell you, this is going to change the way that people design today. Uh, you know, historically people have had to go back and fight with that history tree to, in order to be able to get what they've done, or they've had to give up the benefits of that knowledge base that they built into mm -hmm. it via the history tree. Right. What we've done with synchronous technology, the real trick here is we've been able to get the best of both worlds. Been able to work in a history environment, then optionally be able to persist features, constraints, <laughs> geometry, dimensions, uh, so that people can really capture both the knowledge in a history-free environment. And that has a huge way of impacting the way people are going to design. I don't think yet that our customers, even our beta customers, have really perceived yet how all the ways it's going to change uh, the way that, that people are doing things. Well, it, it Really, five years from now, this is a, a, a total revolution of the magnitude of when parametrics came to the market. Well, well speaking of that magnitude, we, we talked a little bit uh, at the, the technology launch about this, this 100x speed improvement. And, and uh, you know, we took, took a little bit of flack for that. Uh, you know, and how could it really be 100x? I mean, it, it, what's the reality behind that? Is it really going to be 100 times faster? Yeah, let me tell you, we're going to put up some examples tomorrow that are going to blow your socks off. Okay. You know, when we get up there and we start showing how things that used to take 20 minutes can be done in five seconds, you know. 100X. That seems to work out. You know, yeah. Ken Verspiel said it the best, you know, when we take a look at this technology, 100X might be conservative. We didn't want to start making it a little too exaggerated. We wanted to keep it kind of some, some kind of realm that people be, would, uh, would appreciate. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, you combine that together, and I'll, I'll tell you, when I talk 20 minutes versus five seconds, I'm talking about the designer who's sitting there doing the work. Yep. The impact, the real impact of this stuff is going to be on being able to innovate faster. Mm -hmm. What is the benefit of being able to get out five, in, five iterations of a specific innovation 
the fifth one of which might be 2x better than the fourth one. Yep. I mean, yep. I just can't quantify that kind of stuff from a marketing standpoint. Sure. Sure. I mean, but the, but the numbers in this are conservative. Great. Not uh, not exaggerated. Great. Well, I can't wait to see those demos tomorrow. It sounds like it's going to be uh, good. It's 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 going to be cooking. All right, great. We're ready to rock and roll. Excellent. Thanks, Bruce. All right.